In this video, I'm going to show you how to bake delicious lemon lavender shortbread cookies from scratch. This is an easy recipe to follow and all of the ingredients and measurements are listed in the description below. Now let's get started. We'll need about four lemons, edible dried lavender flowers, which I picked up from a gourmet herb and spice shop. We'll also need salted butter, flour, granulated sugar, and a bit of milk. Let's start by zesting the lemons. We'll need one tablespoon of lemon zest for the cookies. Next, using a handheld citrus juicer to extract the juice, we'll need two tablespoons of lemon juice for the glaze. Let's take one tablespoon of lemon zest and one teaspoon total of dried lavender and gently combine them. It's important to make sure that the flowers are food grade lavender. We'll set this aside while we start the shortbread cookie dough. Next, place half a cup or one stick of unsalted butter into a mixing bowl. Then add one fourth cup of granulated sugar. Use a hand mixer to cream together the butter and sugar on medium speed. It should be light and creamy like this once it's properly combined. Next, sprinkle the lemon zest and lavender over the creamed butter and sugar and mix it all on low speed. Next, we'll add one half cup of flour and mix on low speed. Finally, we'll add another half cup of flour and continue to mix on low speed. We've added one cup of flour total. The dough will look crumbly and this is normal. To help the dough stick to itself a little better, we'll add one tablespoon of milk and mix it on low speed until it's combined. The dough may still look crumbly, but it should stick to itself when pressed together like this. Next, transfer the dough to plastic wrap and wrap the dough tightly into a rectangle shape. Chill the dough in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes. I'm going to bake the cookies on a silicone baking mat placed onto a cookie sheet. If you don't have a silicone mat, you can line a cookie sheet with parchment instead. We'll also need a rolling pin, a few tablespoons of flour for dusting, and a round metal cookie cutter. This one is two inches in diameter. Let's roll out the dough on parchment paper that's been dusted with flour. If the dough starts to crumble a bit or looks dry like this, don't worry. Shortbread cookie dough is very forgiving and can be gently pressed back into place. Lightly dust the top of the dough and use a rolling pin to roll the dough to an even thickness. I like to roll onto parchment paper because it allows me to easily rotate the dough while I'm rolling it out. Again, don't worry about the cracks. Next, use a cutter to cut circles from smooth areas of the dough. The cookie should be about 1 4th of an inch thick. Place the cookie dough circles about 2 inches away from each other on the cookie sheet. The dough can be pressed and re-rolled to yield as many cookies as possible. Once the cookie sheet is filled, bake the cookies at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 to 12 minutes. They may require up to 15 minutes if your cookies are larger. Once baked, remove the pan from the oven and allow the cookies to cool for five minutes. The cookies will look quite light on the top, but the bottoms will be slightly browned like this. Next, place the cookies directly onto a cooling rack to cool down completely. These cookies are delicious as is, but for more lemon flavor, we're going to make a simple lemon glaze using powdered sugar, vanilla extract, and fresh squeezed lemon juice. In a mixing bowl, combine one cup of powdered sugar, half a teaspoon vanilla extract, and two tablespoons of lemon juice. Whisk the mixture until the glaze is completely combined and flows off the whisk freely. Next, fill a piping bag with the glaze and cut the very tip of the bag. Drizzle the cookies using nice, even pressure. The glaze starts off soft but hardens as it dries. 
It will be set enough to handle the cookies without smudging them in about one hour. I was able to make at least 30 cookies with this recipe. They can be stored at room temperature in an airtight container for up to two weeks. If you're a lover of all things lemon, check out the video on the right where I show you how to make amazing lemon curd. As always, thanks for watching.